Okay, this is American Contractor. Today is Friday, April the 14th, 2017. have another article here. U.S. deploys F-35s to Putin's doorstep amid Russia tension. This is a WashingtonExaminer.com uh, article. Let's go ahead and read this, and uh, I'm just going to give you my analysis at the end. The Air Force is set to deploy its high-tech fifth-generation F-35A fighter jets to Europe this weekend as part of an effort to assure U.S. allies there who are worried about Russian aggression. The Pentagon announced Friday the deployment includes a small number of Lockheed Martin-built Lightning II fighters, which are being rolled out by the services after a long and costly development to train for several weeks with other U.S. and NATO aircraft in Europe. The Pentagon noted that the deployment had been long planned, meaning it was not a reaction to recent increased tensions between the United States and Russia over a chemical weapons attack on civilians in Syria and a subsequent cruise missile attack launched by two Navy ships. Yet the statement said the move is part of the military's European Reassurance Initiative, which began three years ago after Russia's annexation of Crimea and has taken on further significance as relations sour between Washington and Moscow. The arrival of the F-35, often called the most technologically advanced fighter in the world, is another example of the United States beefing up its presence and activity in Europe. It also comes the same week that Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, after meeting with Putin in Russia this week, declared that the current state of U.S.-Russia relations is at a low point, aside from the Russian situation, the deployment is also a chance for the United States to show off the capabilities of the F-35, which has been the most expensive procurement program in Pentagon history. Allies such as Great Britain are buying the aircraft and could be regularly, regularly operating in Europe early in the next decade. The Pentagon, Pentagon called the deployment an important milestone. Uh, the train deployment signifies an important milestone and natural progression of the F-35 program allowing the Air Force to further demonstrate the operational capabilities of the fifth-generation fighter aircraft. It also assists in refining requirements for eventually basing the F-35A in Europe, which is scheduled to receive the aircraft in the early 2020s. Once the aircraft arrives in Europe, the U.S. Air Forces in Europe and U.S. European Command will release additional information as it becomes available about the F-35A's training deployment. And here's a picture of the F-35 which is this one right here. The F-35 is a conventional runway takeoff and landing variant for the Air Force. Most international partners will purchase this version. It costs $94.6 million. And um, it was introduced into the Air Force's fleet, August of, or the U.S. Armed Forces, August of 2016, so just last year. This is no coincidence. Uh, when you have tensions with Russia, you have what's going on, you always got to flex your muscles. They've been flying their air forces, the Russian Air Force jets around our military, around our aircraft, been buzzing uh, U.S. ships. Remember the U.S.'s Donald Cook in the uh, Black Sea. They've been doing this a long time, so now we're up the game a little bit, and we're going to deploy our the best te technology fighter in the world on the uh, Russian borders. And I'm sure it uh, makes them a little nervous knowing that there's F-35s uh, on the Russian borders can can fly into their airspace, probably unseen, uh, every day um, at will. And there's nothing the Russians can do about it because they can't see them most likely because uh, they're stealth fighters. But this is another example of uh, just ramping up the tensions between the United States and Russia there's already a ramp up in soldiers and uh, tanks and uh, other military equipment and military vehicles, artillery pieces. They're being shipped to Poland, uh, Romania, and they're just uh, sitting there. They're doing training with the uh, Eastern uh, countries, Eastern European countries. And this is just another ratchet up of the tensions between us and Russia. We're just trying to bog them down, just make them think twice about doing anything uh, with the United States or with any other country. Uh, if you like this video, just go ahead and like this video, share this video, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, 
I'm trying to get more subscribers and uh, let's just get a little more activity on this. I like your comments. I do reply. Uh, there's some great comments and there's some people that just uh, drive by, drive by trolls. But uh, they're welcome too because, uh, you know, they are where they are. Uh, if you like this video, please share it. Uh, thank you for watching.